Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm bringing you a Funko news video with your latest news. Now I'm going to bring you um, some news on lots of different um, types of pops and first of all I'm going to bring you some Jurassic World pop news so let's waste no time and get into that news. First of all guys we are getting this Owen Grady pop from Jurassic World. He's the main character in the new franchise played by none other than Chris Pratt aka Star-Lord from the um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Great actor. Definitely deserve another pop because obviously he is the main character in the film. Really does resemble Chris Platt if I'm honest with you. I really do like that. Giving him that nice side satchel as well. And um, I'm really looking forward to getting this one in my collection. Then we are getting his love interest and the second main character in this show with Claire Deering. She's a great um, actress and she was really good in the movie. A really interesting character. And I really did like the... Um, part she played in the film and we'll see what she brings to this new film as well and um, she definitely deserves another Funko Pop alongside the um, Owen one. Then we are getting our first look at the first dinosaur of this wave, we are getting the Velociraptor Blue, now this is a really cool pop, Blue is one of the best dinosaurs in this movie, I think she is a, uh, I think it's a girl and I think it's a pop that a uh, dinosaur that um, Chris Platt's character Owen raised from young and um, she knows him and she trusts him and she helps him out on several occasions throughout this movie and um, I really think it's a really cool nice design I like the blue ring around the eye going down the back obviously where they get the the name from but this is a really cool character to include in this wave right guys and we're getting this other dinosaur bear with me while I try not to butcher this name a Stygemaloch I believe that's how you pronounce it, and um, it's a really cool looking pop actually, very really detailed, I really like all those little horns around the face, and I like the different shading of the different um, textures of the skin on the scales there, little horns as well around the hard dome on the top of the head, with some big horns off of it as well, it's a really interesting dinosaur, and a dinosaur I'm not familiar with the name, and I think I pronounced it alright, but it's a really cool looking pop nonetheless, and I really like that in my collection. Then guys we're getting this Indoraptor, this is a great looking pop, a very evil looking dinosaur if I must say. I really like those red eyes and that red tongue as well. I like that um, pink streak going for the flesh of the mouth as well there. That's a really cool. This must be from the new movie. I don't recognise this from the old one. And I really like the way the claws, the whole position of the dinosaur, the structure of the body. And those nice yellow stripes and patterns going throughout. It's a really cool looking pop actually. Very well detailed and nicely done. Then guys, we're getting this Target exclusive Owen with a raptor egg, a baby raptor egg. That's a really cool looking pop as well. I like the way the little dinosaurs poking around the egg. It looks like blue to be honest. It could be a, a, from a flashback scene where blue was born with the blue eye circle round his or her face. It looks really nice. So uh, unfortunately the Target exclusive for us here in the UK, but maybe we'd be able to pick that up uh, on the US Amazon or US any, some sort of, some, maybe somewhere. Um, Forbidden Planet might pick it up because it is a cool looking pop. And I do like that one more than the original Owen pop if I must say. Then guys, my favourite pop of this wave, it's exclusive at Target, I'm hoping we get it here in the UK, it's a 10 inch Trianosaurus Rex, this is awesome, if any pop should be 10 inch it should be the T-Rex, you could have this displayed next to your Owen pop and it would look very to scale with a human being I imagine, I don't know, all those dinosaurs were huge and they have been, you've, you've been to the National History Museum, you know how big a dinosaur is and they're massive compared to a human, so having this huge pop displayed next to a little pop of a human would be fantastic. This is a really good idea. They've made some 10 inch pops like the Porg and stuff that doesn't make any sense but this one actually makes sense and I really like it. Right guys moving away from Jurassic World now and onto a film called Baby Driver. I'm really glad this film's getting some Funko Pops because it's such a great film and it deserves so much more recognition. This is a character called Bats played by Jamie Foxx. He's a great character in the um, film itself. A really good reputation of him holding that gun with that nice um, red coat on. I really do like like this and if you haven't seen this film guys I urge you to see it because it's very underrated I think it was a it was directed by Edgar Wright and it's one of the best films of last year for sure and then we've got the character here of Baby the main character of the film now Baby is one of the best getaway drivers in the business and I want to ruin the film for you but just check it out he's a really cool character he likes to listen to his music when he is on a heist and it's just a great fantastic pop big sunglasses on represents a character down to a T and I really I really like this pop and um, it just looks fantastic. And then they've thrown in this chase version of Baby without the sunglasses. It's basically just the same pop without the sunglasses. But I would love to get hold of this chase and the normal version of Baby. Like I say, he's a great character. And I can't tell you guys enough how much of an underrated film this is. Check it out and collect these pops. I cannot wait and hope I find that chase 
and um, put it on this channel for me. Then moving away from Baby Driver, guys, we're getting the Black Panther second wave. We're getting this Eric Killmonger with scars. Now, it's a really cool looking pop. They must have took a lot of time to put the scars on in the movie. And now we're getting the Funko Pop of him with that jacket open with the scars, which is a fantastic looking pop. And I really like then that. Then we're getting M'Baku, guys. He is one of the um, other cool pops available in this second wave. I really like the look of this pop. It's really good. And it really nails the character. I mean, he, he doesn't play the biggest role in the movie, but he is a great character nonetheless. And I do think he's going to be making an appearance in Avengers Infinity War. And um, it's just a great pop and a great addition to the Black Panther collection. Then, guys, last but not least is Ulysses Claw. This has got to be my favourite Funko from the whole of the Black Panther wave. He's my favourite character from the Black Panther movies. I love Andy Serkis. He's one of my favourite actors. So underrated. And this is a great pop. He's got his arm open with his laser cannon coming out as well. I really do like that. It looks fantastic. That was a really good surprise in the film that they added that to coincide with his sort of his sort of origins in the comics. But if you know about the character, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is a great pop nonetheless. And I cannot wait to pick this up. But this has been all the Black Panther pops they've announced for season Wave 2 so far. We probably will get some more. I think guys, a random bit of news here, but I saw this online and I thought I would uh, show you. It's not the best images as you can tell by this, but it's an Ellen DeGeneres pop. And apparently this is only going to be sold at the Ellen DeGeneres show shop and the, the gift shop. So um, maybe this is true, maybe it's not. But I thought I'd throw it in just to let you guys know. And if it turns out to be true, then boom, I was on I was on point. Right, guys, we are getting a load of Deadpool pops, obviously, with the upcoming movie. And there are lots and lots of exclusives, so I'm going to run through them. I don't have individual shots, just this one image has been released so far. We are getting a 7-Eleven exclusive of the X-Force Deadpool, which looks like he's eating the chimichanga with light-up eyes. I'm not too sure if they're glow-in-the-dark eyes, but they do look really cool. Then we're getting a GameStop exclusive Samurai Deadpool with a Samurai sword with loads of tacos on it, which does look really, really, really cool. I like that. Then we're getting a Box Lunch exclusive Cheerleader Deadpool and a Hot Topic exclusive Flock Deadpool Panda Bear by the looks of things, which is really cool. I really like all of these. They're so random. Then at Target, we're getting a Target exclusive Deadpool with Harpoon Mermaid. And then it looks to me as a metallic Target exclusive Deadpool with Harpoon Mermaid, which, which again, these just very random. I, I really like it. That bear one is my favourite so far. And then as we pan up here, we are getting a Gandalf Barnes & Noble exclusive Deadpool. What more can you ask for? That is fantastic, that is. I really, really like that. Then we are getting what only can be described as a Burger King Deadpool, which is obviously not official Burger King. He's holding the sword there and a burger in his hand with a, with a king's robe on, a cape, and a king's crown from FYE exclusive. That looks really cool. Then we're getting an Amazon exclusive Deadpool in a chicken costume, holding a bit of chicken and a bucket of Deadpool's chicken, which is obviously taking the mick out of... KFC and I love the Gandalf staff with the Deadpool thing at the end and Deadpool looks really cool with that beard. These are all exclusives in the US so hopefully here in the UK we will pick these up. We'll definitely be able to buy the Amazon one on the US Amazon because they do ship to the UK so that's really cool and I love these. Love to look at all these pops. They're just fantastic. So guys, that's the latest Funko news. Thank you for sticking with me through this video to the end. I know I had to ramble on a lot there, but there were some really cool looking pops there. Please let me know in the comments below what your favourite ones were, what you're definitely looking forward to the most and definitely going to pick up. That would be really, really good. And uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. That would really do me a favour. If you are subscribed, hit that notification bell and don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. Links in the description for my Instagram and Twitter. Hit me up on them and I'm running the competition, guys, for your chance to win a Chase Paul, which closes on the 1st of May. Link in the description below. Make sure you enter for your chance to win. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.